Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss problem A from the code forces round 648. Problem name Matrix game. So in this question you are given that Ashish and Vivek are playing a game on a matrix consisting of n rows and n columns. And uh, what they did is there, there are initial state of this matrix which can be 0 or 1. Okay, which can be represented as if the cell is one it is claimed and if it is zero it is unclaimed okay so now some of the cells can be also claimed at the initial state claimed means some can be one or other can be zero which is unclaimed now the question is at every move ashish and vivek will make a cell claim or will make any cell equal to one such that there is no cell which is claimed in the same row or in the same column. So I will tell you with this example, which is 0, 0, 0, 0. So if Ashish plays the first chance and make 1, 1 claimed, then because nothing is claimed in the first state, if he make this claim, then uh, like the next person Vivek cannot take this cell or this cell because both of this cell will be having a claimed cell in the same row. Okay, because if we take this cell, this cell is claimed. If we take this cell, this cell is claimed. So we have to take a cell such that there is no claimed cell in the same row or in the same column. So there is only one option which is this. So Vivek can take this cell and then Ashish will have no choice left. So the answer is who loses Ashish and who wins Vivek. Okay, so Vivek is the answer. Uh, so, as I can tell you, because we cannot take anything in the same column or in the same row, first take a look at the constraint, which are very small. And generally, the first question are having very small constraints, so you can generally do it in the brute force manner. So, that's the thing which I will be doing in this code, in which what I'll do is, when I will taking the input of all the states, Whenever I found one state equal to one, when I, whenever I'm taking input, I'm taking input like this. Whenever I'll see that there's a cell which is one in the initial state, I will make all the cells in the same row and in the same column equal to one. So let's assume this will turn out to be one when I was taking input. Then I will make everything in the same row and in the same column equal to one. Now, if this is zero or if this is one, if this turns out to one, we will make this one and we will make this one. Now let's assume this is zero, everything turns out to be zero and only this is the initial state. Though the initial numbers are only one this and this, but I will make this matrix as this. Now, first Ashi's turn. So we will iterate over the whole matrix and find what is the first zero. This is the first zero. So now we will tell that Ashi's can make this one. Now if Ashi's make this one, all the cells which are in the same row and the same column will become one automatically because you cannot take those cells. So now Vivek has only these options. So now we will again iterate over the whole matrix because it's very small and we will find that this is the first zero which we have encountered. We will make this one and every row and column equal to one. Now Vivek has moved his turn. Ashish can move here and these are all ones again. Now Vivek cannot move in Tasashi's film. I hope you understand because the constraints are very small. I can easily do this. And this is like actually O of N, M into N only. I'm doing every operation multiple times, but the overall complexity is actually O of M N only. So that's the code here. Uh, that's the solve function in which we will take the input of N and M. Then I will initialize everything to be zero in the start then I will iterate over the whole input. We will take the input of k. If anything k equal to 1, when we are taking the input, if anything turned out to be 1, we will make the column and the row of that in ij. So let's assume we have found this to be 1. Then we will make this column and this row to be 1. That's what I've done. Now we will make one variable for turn and one for flag. Turn tells us whose turn is this and flag will tell us whether we have found a one or like whether we have found a zero in the matrix or not. So we will do a while loop till there is one chance. 
we will initialize flag equal to zero means that we haven't found any zero till now. We will iterate over the whole matrix. If we have found a zero in the matrix, we will in initialize our turn that this turn is complete. Ashish has moved. Now the turn will be off the way. Increment a flag, uh, make a flag equal to one means that we have seen one zero. And then we will make all the, we will just do this. I have actually copied this. All the, make all the ones in the column and row of that zero which we have encountered. Everything equal to one. And we will break out. So this is just to break out of the whole loop because we have done every operation. We will just break out. And then we will check with if flag equal to zero means that we, if we haven't found any zero while we have iterating over the whole matrix, if we haven't found any zero, we will just break out because now there is no zero. And how we tell this? Okay. Now, as you can see, if there is only one block, uh, like because the first chance is of, because the first chance is of Ashish, if Ashish cannot move, if Ashish cannot move, who will win? Vivek will win now. So that's the thing. So if Ash, so because the first turn will be zero, let's assume everything will in the initial state will be zero. Everything is filled and this loop will not work. So flag turns tu turn turns out to be zero, in which means that Ashish cannot move his turn. So we can easily say that if the even turns, the even turns, Vivek will win, and on the odd turns, Ashish will win. And this is the whole code. I hope you understand this is a brute force way. You can also read the editorial. They have used some other way. But this is the simplest way because uh, the, the constraints are very small. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts, please mention it on the comment box. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Keep coding.